morning and welcome to day 18 of vlog -sember. so as you can see i'm still in the hotel right now um it's like almost 12 o'clock been ready got ready because tg told me to be ready by 10 30 even though i wasn't ready by 10 30 so i'm happy that he gave me extra time he's at work right now um i'm just here at the hotel so pretty much today we're gonna go look at apartments and then well we're gonna look at two apartments that he has in mind and then our one apartment i can't remember and then we're also going to um university of austin to there's um this thing that they're having at his work where they like tell you about like real estate here in austin or whatever um so like because a lot of people just came from austin from houston whatever or from wherever i don't know and so i guess they're here to like just help you know people find spots that they were looking to buy rent whatever the case is so he said that it would be good for us to go there because obviously it's going to be beneficial to it's going to be beneficial to us in the near future so he's like yeah um i think we should go to it and then you can meet all my people and i'm just like because oh. <laughs> like i'm such a shy person so like to me like all his co-workers and stuff and there's gonna be like new ones that i haven't met before it's like very nerve-wracking for me so yeah this is gonna be a new one well not really a new one but it's just like you know all that small talk and stuff that you gotta do which i don't think i'm good at so i know i'm gonna be talking about toronto a lot canada cold weather stuff like that <laughs> I think he said we're gonna go to the apartment at like 12 o'clock now it was supposed to be um, earlier than that before and then the uh, workshop or whatever it is the meeting thingy thingy is at two o'clock so yeah I guess that should be cool It'll be interesting to even see like how the real estate is down here and stuff like that it definitely is um, the cost of living is much higher here than in Houston so whatever so yeah he told me he's like look good i guess he wants me to like kind of look good in front of his people or whatever so i'm like okay i'm like can i wear kicks he's like yeah like it's because like where he works is like a chill place everybody kind of wears like chill clothes so yeah and i'm a chill person like i'm not just gonna dress up because i gotta dress up but i don't know i'm still kind of dressed up not really so i'll just show you guys quickly what i'm wearing it's not really dressed up i should say <laughs> But I'm gonna wear on um, my thigh highs to make it more dressed up. So uh, I'm wearing just a regular V-neck. Like I didn't know what top to wear, and I didn't want to be freaking cold. So I'm wearing a V-neck. I'm wearing this um like fuzzy um fur type of jacket from Forever 21. I'm wearing these jeans from Fashion Nova, and then I'm gonna wear my thigh highs. And I guess once I put it on, I can give the overall look. He's just like to be, beat your face, girl, beat your face. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, this is the purse that I got from Forever 21 that I told you guys that I, not Forever 21, sorry, um, Aldo that I got. Just like a small little purse, which I thought would be cute to just, you know, bring around with me when I don't want to just bring like, you know, a side bag or something like that. So I'm going to wear this as well. And then I just put like my little furry ball on it. So this is the full outfit together. You know, just got to put the jacket off the shoulder a little bit. Ah, ah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it looks better with um, the boots because it kind of covers up the rips. It looks a little bit more, um, you know, work appropriate, I would say. So, um, yeah, I think it's okay. Anyways, I'm going to wait until he comes. For now, I think I'm going to eat a slice of pizza and then I'm going to edit my thumbnail for the video. And then yeah, I have two videos going up. It's gonna be a hot pepper challenge. If you have not seen the hot pepper challenge, you have to go check it out. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I had real tears coming out of my eyes. I'm gonna insert the clip right here. I was literally like, ah, ah, ah. like I could not, like it was, it was horrible. Oh it was God. honestly horrible. So I'm gonna insert that clip and you guys gotta go check out that video. Leave a comment, laugh your ass off. Hey, I think I did enough talking for now. As you can see, my view. I love looking at the pool. It's so pretty. I really want to go there. Oh, and you can see the Capitol, as TG would say. The Capitol is over there. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you guys very, very soon. Hey, what's up? Thank you. Yeah, that's it. I know
we said it's best we don't talk no more but i gotta get it off my chest about all the shit so I mean. we're gonna go see the first apartment we're gonna see two in this complex i think a big one and a smaller one first so you walk in this is like the living room area right kitchen I have the bathroom and this is like a bedroom closet and such mm, lighting is okay ceilings kind of low but still nice sorry right here facing this way I'll probably put the TV on the wall and then my dresser could go over here yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a master bathroom, I guess. Mirror is nice. Tub, toilet, dirty. Mm -hmm. It's kind of small. Ready? Got the washer and dryer, so I can sell a lot. I got in Houston. It's a cozy spot. Cozy spot? Mm hmm. Ready to see the next one? Sure. Pantry. So, this is option number two. I think this is the bigger one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you already know which one I. <laughs> There's more space. <laughs> but it's only you then again. So you walk in. This was the one that's modeled, so it looks a lot better to be honest. We walk in, there's like the dining area stuff. I just like the windows. The windows are nice. So turn over one, here. The, um, there's um, the kitchen. Granted. Um, I like the dark wood, the stainless steel, appliances. Wow, they actually have food in there. This one has two and a half bathrooms. So it's a bathroom in each room. What is this? Um, the washer dryer. Right by the kitchen. Um, we do not. It's a Time Warner for our table and internet. Here's one bedroom. Oh my god, I love it. The closet's nice. The way they set it up. I like the bed area. Here's one of the bathrooms. Oh, I guess each of the um the bedrooms have a bathroom, but yeah, it's really nice. It's bigger. That's why I like it. And then you come right here. This is one bedroom. You come right here. Here's another bedroom. I'm guessing this one is the master. Are they both the same? I don't know. Here's one of the beds. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. Got it. Yeah. It's nice. And then again, here's the bathroom. Yeah. Good. We're gonna get the living room. And then here's the living room area. And there's a bathroom. There's two and a half bathrooms. Oh, it's two and a half. Wow. And it has built-ins. I like the built-ins. Set up the couch right here. TV. And then they have the half bath, which is so bomb. But like, I really don't think he needs all this space, even though I would like all this space. And then they even have a little closet right here. Okay, we are actually seeing one more in this complex. So, on to that spot. So, this is like dining living. Yeah. So, this is like you walk in, there's like the dining room area, and there's the living room area. Kitchen. Opposite sides. This master bedroom has a large walk-in closet. 
area. So you can see that there's a dining room, then the living room is over there. It's pretty spacious. Then you have the kitchen. And I think over there is the washer dryer. I'm just showing you guys different layouts. This way, there's bathroom. And then regular, probably office room. This, on this layout, the bath, the bedrooms are on opposite ends. So here, do you have the other bedroom? This one brings in a little bit more light. Just the windows to me are very small, and the ceilings are very low. Like I could literally almost touch this. That's how low the ceilings are, which I don't really like. But I think his bed will fit perfectly in here. And then. It has a really big walk-in closet. Like I can literally just walk in here. It's pretty big. Like this one. That's right, yeah. And then has the bathroom again. So we just left the apartments and I think TG knows which one he's gonna get. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So when Is that an air thing? When he end up, when he ends up moving there, or whatever, like we'll show you, you know, everything, the whole moving process, buying stuff, making it all homey and everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I can show you guys the floor floor plans. Well, I don't really want to show you guys because then it has the the numbers on of like that where the where we would be living or where he would be living why do I keep saying we because I'd be here for like months at a time but okay the first one that we looked at was the Umbria it's two bed two bath 796 square feet it is going for a thousand one hundred eighty six dollars a month and honestly we've been looking at apartments for a really long time this is probably the best price we've seen for a two bedroom um, apartment and with like nice finishings and stuff like that the only thing i do not like about these apartments is that i don't feel like the windows are big enough and that it brings in a lot of light and the windows are i mean the ceilings are kind of low but whatever um so yeah this is what it looks like two bed two bath um i guess it's decent for one person living there and then he obviously he can save a lot of money for you know when he wants to buy eventually or move into a better spot when i move with him <laughs> And then the second spot we looked at, the second spot we looked at was the Modena. Was it the Modena? Yeah, the Modena, which was my favorite and which I wanted to move into, but I ain't moving. So it's two bed and two and a half baths, 1,224 square feet. But this one is going for um, uh, like almost $1,450 a month. And that's not including like all the other things that you have to pay like gas, light, all of that. But this one was really, 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 really nice. I actually love this one. The windows were a lot bigger because it does have a dining area and such. Yeah, and the wind and the bedrooms are bigger. Last one we looked at was this Laszlo one. Two bed, two bath, 1,080 square feet. And it would be 1351 a month. And this one was also nice as well. So we just stopped at Kane. She is the most difficult person. In the I'm world. really not difficult. Yes, she is. This guy, you plan to get toast. Difficult, you didn't even bro. ask me if I wanted coast or toast. This guy assumed that I wanted toast and not coast. Just because, who the hell just he, because he doesn't like vegetables comments, and stuff like that. In the comments, who the hell he coleslaw? A lot of people eat coleslaw. Ew. Just because he doesn't eat Ew. vegetables and stuff, he assumed that I would rather have a toast. Thank you so much. No, I don't want so much bread in my damn system. Yeah, bread on the fucking food guy pyramid, girl. Yeah, Talk there's you know. it already comes with a toast. Two toasts better than one toast. Because you just don't like anything healthy or anything. It's not even healthy. Now you trying to make it it's healthy. not even healthy, Coast but is a I piece said of it's shit. not even healthy, but like, you disgusting. don't like anything like cabbage. Who in, the in the comments. Of course I'm like no damn In the comments. Who in the state? likes coleslaw this ain't about vegetables comment down below this is uh, who likes fucking coleslaw i wish you could put a What's poll the, okay on i don't know how to take uh, it's gonna be 89 percent no coleslaw hell no nah, and 11 percent of y'all zombies that eat coleslaw i don't know how um, you gotta be a senior citizen to eat coleslaw can i talk yeah you got the floor 
I don't know how US Cosa tastes, but it tastes pretty good in Toronto, so I want to see how it tastes out here. And I like Cosa, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay? He's just so extra sometimes, you know? He's so extra. He's getting mad at me because last minute I was like, like I want Cosa, but he didn't even and ask then when me. We get in the to first the window, place. I'm like, ma'am. For one of those orders, can I get coleslaw instead of extra toast? And she's I'm like, like, it's for me. It's for me. I'm like, well, who gives a damn if she knows? You don't, she don't care who's phone. She don't know which one is which. Damn. Shut up. Man, when I'm at the drive thru, that's like I'm on the phone. So I don't need the passenger speaking, please. Thank you. Really? We're a team, baby. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Now give me dabs. Give me dabs. You gonna leave me hanging? Uh, uh. Crush your knuckles. <laughs> Dad, Anyways, we're on his way, on our way to the school. We're about to, I'm gonna give her a meeting. tour of the campus so she can see how beautiful the University of Texas at Austin is. Yeah. So I'll use some subbies from UT in Austin. Holla at Link your up. girl. Holla at your girl. Link up. Holla at your boy if you see him. Hey, yo, dangles. If you see him, we're looking for a say real what real up, boy. TG. So you're looking for a real rude boy Yo, named dangles. PG. We're looking for a real gangster, you know Link up. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> the hell did you find? All right, so we just made it to U UT. UT. There's the hamburger helper neck ass over there. Hamburger helper neck ass over here. <laughs> He's trying to take me to the stadium. So I just met some of the people who worked here. And a lot of them are very serious, but they're super nice. Right now I'm in TG's office and he has me on the other side because we're having a meeting here. See him in the big chair while I'm in this little orange chair on the opposite side. Anyways, this is his office. Still waiting for the picture of me to be here. But um, he has this little quote, it says, it is amazing what you can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. Harry S. Truman. He has these little two computers over here. Working, eating canes. And then he said he's gonna get um, a TV thing or something like that over here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so that meeting was super quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's so over, over and done with. <laughs> this stadium seats over 100,000. Yeah. Look, this is a nice view walking down. Show is this where the football players come? Yeah, sure. Ah! This is <laughs> the record is like almost 104, and they're renovating it to get it to like 110,000. And as you see, it's way bigger. Mama, I made it. <laughs> Out here, so big. <laughs> How loud do you think this will be? Super loud. Like, Yo. It's huge. This is big. Baby, I want to do a cartwheel. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so she's about to do a cartwheel. I doubt it. I'm in the middle of a, like, this is a big place. So I think I have to do a cartwheel for you guys. Are you ready? In these booties too. Ready? <laughs> One, two, Fail. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah. Jimmy, <big. laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. This is really nice. Way bigger than U of H, huh? Guys, how'd you like that cartwheel though? Your girl did it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I wait till the stadium is like full to capacity and get down on one knee right on the 50 yard line? Right in the middle? Yeah, I love that. Oh. No, you, <laughs> you, you would so, not embarrass yourself. You would feel so embarrassed. I know I would be embarrassed, <laughs> but you would be more embarrassed. You would be so forced to say yes. <laughs> of course I'll say yes to you, baby. <laughs> that would be so funny. Guys, thumbs up if he should do that. No. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Thumbs up if you should do that. I think you guys should give me a thumbs up. Get me to 10,000 thumbs up and he'll do it. <laughs> okay, he said 100,000 thumbs up and he'll do that. That proposal. 
on the football field where there's how many fans he said? 104,000 104, fans. He gonna do it, okay? So we need 100,000 thumbs up. So I'm gonna go on the way back to the hotel, eat my food, watch the TV, edit this vlog, and chill for a little bit. I might do the Q&A too. He wants to show him that he's so legit. Ching! 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 <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll see you guys later. Sure. TG will see you guys later when he gets home at like freaking eight o'clock. So, bye. So guys, I'm back. All that talk about Kosla and this guy took my freaking meal, my meal with the Kosla and he left me with the two damn breads. <sighs> For me to eat them. And now, we left his freaking workplace without even getting my Kosla. Like now, I'm stuck with these two damn breads and no Kosla. So TG just got home. All I've been doing was editing. We demand to see TG. And now TG's here reading all the comments. Finally. What do you mean finally? Cam's voice is so sexy. Beware. <laughs> but yeah, he's here reading the comments and laughing at you guys. And we're laughing together. It's pretty funny. Why do people get so aggravated when they can't see TG's face? At this point, you should either be used to it or get over it. Exactly, man. Exactly, I man. Trying to find out who I am. People said that you're um, irritated with the comments. Yeah. I mean, with the camera. Are you irritated with the camera? Yeah. I'm irritated with you trying to say I'm in the camera. You be in the camera. You be trying to no, be in the camera. Yeah, sure. you do. Yeah, you do. So what are we doing for the rest of the night, baby? Huh? I can't say. What that mean? <laughs> what that mean? Dang, that kiss was everything that was not What's up, boo? So, we are downstairs in our hotel lobby looking for something to drink or something. Oh, there's a store. This is the store. We're in the little shop that they have right now. Our selections are limited. Very limited. Anyway, so we got what we were looking for. Now we're headed back upstairs. And we're going to chill for the rest of the night. And then he's probably going to knock out in 2.5 seconds after he has some drinks. Hey, uh, guys. That's not a good in, thing. In the comments, guys. Do you guys remember what D.A.R.E. was when you were a little kid? So please educate Nisi on what D.A.R.E. is. So Are you yet hashtag, again trying to say that I'm slow? No. Oh. You don't know what D.A.R.E. is. Hashtag Team D.A.R.E. in the comments. Alright. I'll check in if we have anything more interesting to talk about, but I feel like we're not going to. Um, tomorrow I might be going out with a subscriber yeah. to do my nails. Yeah and get some waxing done. But yeah, other than that, I think we're gonna call it a night, right? No. No? We're gonna vlog up freak. We can't do Periscope, can we? Yeah, we can. On our phone, let's go on Periscope. Perry fan! Woo! No, I didn't. I got a crunch bar, guys, and I haven't had one of these in a long time. This is like OG chocolate. So. Open it up and see. You got a golden Yo, ticket. Yo, what matches me? Woo! <laughs> what? I said open it and see if it has a golden ticket. What kind of golden ticket? Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. Oh. Space ass. Nope. You can make it. Your beach is ready. Open it up. Can we act like we're not on PBS right now, man? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're so dumb. Show, show them your pizza. My pizza is ready. <laughs> so we just got a pizza. He Wonder said, who it's from, they said. He said it's PBS. <laughs> yeah, you sound it's too exciting. Lamb chops head ass. Bro, this is why I love him so much because he just cracks me up all the time. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm dead. 
I'm done for the night, okay? <laughs> These are the shoes that Shanice wanted to try on. They are ugly as hell. Like these are the shoes that you wear when you are an inch or two inches short to ride a roller coaster. So these are your Six Flag 12s right here. <laughs> they are ugly as fuck. And I guess because people like Rihanna, they'll pay 100 to $200 for these busted ass shoes.